Hubson has recently announced a new drone called the Xeno Mini Pro, which is a direct competitor to the DJI Mini 2. Hi, I'm Paul from dronesgetter.com and in this video we're gonna look over the specs of the new Hubson Xeno Mini, all the footage that we have so far, and even look at the pretty horrible live stream that Hubson made recently with this drone. Now, Hubson announced the Xeno Mini Pro with some really incredible specs. We're talking about a 1 by 1.3 inch CMOS image sensor, which is huge. 48 megapixels camera compared to the 12 megapixel of the Mavic Mini. An f1.85 aperture, which is quite large. 6x zoom, which is not only digital but also optical in part. An HDR mode and of course a 4K camera. It can shoot H.265 codec at 200 megabits per second. It does have a 1080p live feed, which is quite stunning, and a 10 km range, which is exactly what the DJI Mini 2 has. But here's where it gets crazy, it can fly for 40 minutes, and of course it is under 249 grams. But there's even more, it does have a front, back and down obstacle avoidance system. So it somehow managed to get all of this under 250 grams, and it can actually track you, or a deer in this case. And this was the first reveal that Hubson did. I also did a more in-depth review of the drone. When I'm talking about the potential release date, because it's currently on pre-order, how much it costs, because right now it costs $459, which is about the same as the DJI Mini 2. But the most important thing are the actual specs. I'm not really sure if Hubson will be able to deliver the specs, but if they do, this is gonna be amazing. We were talking about the large sensor. This is almost a 1 inch sensor. As you can see, the small one here is the one on the DJI Mini 2. And usually most of the drones that are foldable and small like that. And this is the potential sensor that the Hubson Xeno Mini might have. It's quite large. This means it will take in more light and the nighttime photos and video will be better. It also has a 6x zoom, which is quite a lot. The DJI Mini 2 has a 4x zoom, which is only digital. If it's a 4K image, it will zoom in and crop it to 1080p, for example. But in this case, Hubson says that all the zoom up to a point, maybe 2x, will be lossless, which means it won't lose any quality. We saw it has a 48 megapixel camera, which basically means it will shoot higher quality photos, as in more detail, not necessarily higher quality overall. And one of the most amazing feature is that it has 200 megabits per second in terms of bitrate, which is twice as much as the DJI Mini 2. This means more information captured in the video. The H.265 codec is also one of the best existing on the market. I'm really curious to see some footage after the reviews come over. The Xeno Mini also comes with a follow me mode and front and backward obstacle avoidance. I'm pretty sure it isn't as good as DJI's, but it might work pretty well. In my experience, DJI has more attention to details and usually they make better software, so the so their active track feature has continuously improved to a level that Hubson is probably not going to get soon. But it's still a considerable improvement from the DJI Mini 2, which doesn't have any obstacle avoidance sensors at all. Hubson has shown on their site that there is a Xeno Mini Pro thermal version, which costs quite a lot of money compared to the original. It costs $1500, but we haven't seen any photos or videos with the actual camera itself. As you can see, the camera looks exactly like the base version. Speaking of which, as you can see here, the base version costs $400. $159 and it comes with just one battery and a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. Regarding the controller, it does look quite a lot like any controller that the DJI Mavic series had so far. It's compact, but from my experience, Hubson doesn't really make the best controllers. I think some of the best controllers are made either by DJI or Xiaomi. One thing that makes this drone stand out a lot is the 1080p live stream. The DJI Mini 2 only has 720p, you can't really use a DJI Mini 2 with a 720p live stream resolution on a larger tablet. The details just aren't there. So I'm actually really excited to see this drone. We have the 10km range, of course. And the thing that is really surprising for me is that they made the Xeno Mini battery life up to 40 minutes. I was thinking that this might be at most 34 minutes, but we have recently seen a live stream from them which kind of turned out badly, yet they have proven their point that the Xeno Mini can actually fly for 40 minutes. Let me quickly show it to you. Yeah, so this was the live stream on YouTube directly, and as you can see, they have a scale here on the table because most people didn't believe the drone actually exists or has the specs that they say it has. Here is them measuring a phone, and as you can see, 249.2 grams for the Xeno with the obstacle avoidance sensors in front. The size is actually confirmed. 
And now, as you can see, they actually started hovering it in the studio right there. It does seem to hover pretty steady, so, so I'm thinking that the bottom optical flow sensors must do their job pretty well. And as you can see, it is a pretty well lit room. And they keep going like this for quite a while. And as you can see, at this point, the drone starts to go down. And it doesn't seem to have any more battery. It's about time they land it, however, it actually ends up <laughs> crashing somewhere on the side. Which is... <laughs> and then they zoom in to, to cover it up. <laughs> Just look at the girl's face. <laughs> yeah, they panicked a bit. But even though Hobson kind of failed with this stream, we've actually seen that the drone is under 250 grams and it can fly for 40 minutes, or at least it can hover for 40 minutes. Which means some of the other specs might be true. So here's my opinion about this drone. You should definitely wait until people get it for actual reviews. It is on pre-order right now. I'm expecting this drone to actually have all the specs that Hobson said it would, but it might lack in a few important areas. One of them is follow me and obstacle avoidance. DJI has perfected their obstacle avoidance with their Active Track 4.0 coming with the DJI Air 2S and it is absolutely great. Hubson on the other hand in my experience with their other drones don't really have the strongest software. However, even if this drone wouldn't have the obstacle avoidance and active track in my opinion, just for that camera and the fact that it can fly for 40 minutes, go up to 10 kilometers, it's amazing. But one thing that they may still mess up is the camera itself. Even though the sensor is quite large and all these specs are important and quite interesting, if they are not using a high quality sensor from Sony for example that DJI are using, the overall image might still not be as great as DJI and that is my main concern. I also have some concerns regarding the gimbal because we've seen so far that other companies besides DJI usually have some issues with the horizon and the 3-axis gimbal not being as stable as possible which is a really big downside if you want a reliable camera drone. If you're curious to compare the Xeno Mini Pro with the other under 250 grams drones currently on the market, I do have articles comparing their specs with the likes of the DJI Mini 2, as you've seen so far, and even an article with the Xeno Mini Pro versus the Fimi X8, which is the latest under 250 gram drone from Xiaomi. I suggest that you next check the videos right here, and please comment down in the description what you think about the Xeno Mini. Do you trust them to actually deliver a better drone than DJI or should we wait for the actual video comparisons to surface? Thanks for watching and see ya later alligator.